Well, I started to play when I was uh, probably 13 or 14, when um, my uncle, my uncle Stanley, my father's brother, he conducted a band in uh, Derbyshire called Bolsover Colliery. And I asked him to give me a cornet, which he did. And he brought the cornet to Bellevue Contest. And I had it under the table. We were having a cup of tea. And this fella came and sat with us. I didn't know who the fella was. And said, whose is this cornet case under the, under the table? And of course, I was a teenager. I said, it's mine. Oh, he said, can you play it? I said, well, I don't know, I've not tried yet, I've only got it today. He said, well, you take it home and practice it. And that fellow was Harry Mortimer. And I didn't know then, later in years, that I was going to be playing for him. So that was a bit of a surprise, really. So that was about the time that I started to play. My father already played. Um, he used to play in, in Abram Colliery Band. But that was, that's the gist of how I started. I started to play with a band in Wigan called Wigan British Legion Band, which is now gone. Every band that I've played with has gone. Um, then I left, I left there and I went to play with Standish and Coppel Band. And that was when a gentleman called Harry Bentham, who was the conductor at that time, put me on soprano which I've played ever since, up until the last few months. Um, then I left there and I went to Wingate's. I played with Wingate's band for about seven years. Then I left Wingate's and I went to play with a band which is also gone called Hay Band in Wigan which we used to go around to contests, these own choice contests where you could play what you like. We used to play Epic Symphony. And uh, I left there and I went to a local band nearby to where I lived called Lower Ince Temperance Band. It wasn't Temperance, but that was the name of the band. And, uh, and I played with them. And then it was whilst I was playing with them that um, I was asked to come to Foden's. I had, I had a phone call from Rex, and he said, I believe you're interested in joining Foden's band. But at the time, my father, who was a coal dealer, coal merchant, was retiring. And he asked me, he said, do you want to take the business on? Or do you want to, shall I sell it, sell the business? I said, no, I'll take it on, I'll have a go at it. So when Rex, Rex rang me, I said, well, yes, I'd, li I'd like to come, but I'm going into business and it'd be a bit difficult to be, for me to get there and so on and so forth. And he said, well, uh, he was, he was a very canny man, was uh, Rex. You couldn't beat him. He said, how do you know you're good enough? I said, well, good question. So he said, why don't you come down and let me listen to you play? So I came down one Saturday morning and he took me in the band room and asked me to play various bits and pieces of different things. I played something which I'd prepared myself and then he said, right, I'd like you to come on Monday night rehearsal if you could, because Harry's coming to take the band then, and I want Harry to listen to you before any decision's made. So I came out, I had to tell my father, and that, my father said, well, what, you'll have to go, won't you? He said, otherwise you'll never know whether you were good enough or not. So I went on the Monday night, I did the rehearsal and then I was coming out to come home when a gentleman called Ted Swindles, who was then the librarian of the band, came running after me and he said, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. You've not got a uniform. 
I said, well, I don't need the uniform I'm only doing the area. He said, no, you're playing on Wednesday night. I said, where? He said, Manchester Town Hall. Rex says, you're playing, you want a uniform, come and get a uniform. So that was it. And that was the start. No, I didn't. I took over the coal business of my father. And being as I was working for myself and I was my own boss, I was able to get the time to come down to rehearsal and, and to do the jobs. So that, that wasn't, it wasn't inconvenient. Um, so I didn't work at the factory at all. Not then. Uh, eventually, I had to um, I had to sell the business because they started to make smokeless zones, and my business was going down the tubes because people were having gas and electric instead of coal. So I had to make a decision as to whether to buy somebody out or whether to sell the business. So I decided to sell the business and asked Rex Mortimer could he find me a job at Foden's, which he said he could. And so that was it. That was when I moved down here in 1972 to play at, uh, to um, work at Foden's. I worked in the car garage, which was uh, a, a place where we maintained all the transport uh, the mostly the, the the director's cars and all the cars that the reps used and stuff like that. And that's what we did. Yeah, um, I think the first map. Well, the first performance was the area um, when we played um, Symphony of Marches. We came second that year. Uh, Camel Lords won. Uh, and Rex Mortimer conducted both bands. He conducted Camel Lairds and he conducted Foden's. And so uh, apparently Foden's told him that he hadn't to, co hadn't to conduct another band which was in competition with us. But he'd taken that band from the fourth section right up to the top section, had Rex. Anyway, that was it. And then the next competition we, we were going to was... Um, Bellevue, the British Open. Uh, so we went to the British Open and we played a piece called Lorenzo and we won. And I thought, well, I, 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 I wasn't settled, but I was indecisive. This was before I came to Foden's to work. I was still working in the coal business then. And I thought, I'm on a good thing here, I might as well stay, you know, because we won, we won the British Open, um, which I did. And then I played with the band at the Albert Hall uh, on variations on a ninth. Uh, we didn't win anything that day. But as regards to important things, one of the important things that stands out in my mind was when we made a, a, an LP, there used to be big LPs in those days. Um, we made an LP with the Men of Brass, conducted by Malcolm Sargent on all his arrangements that he'd done. I've got the record at home, it's brilliant. Um, so that was an interesting episode. Well, the fav my favourite test piece to play, I have to say, was Epic Symphony because I really did enjoy playing that. Um, after that, I suppose I'd have to say Lorenzo, because we won the British Open on that. Well, I did enjoy playing for Rex. He was, he was, he was a nice chap, was Rex. He looked after the players, and uh, yeah, he was good, yeah. Enjoyed playing for him. I lost my job in 1980, when the, the firm Everybody at the company, more or less, lost their job. Um, there were a few people who were kept on. Um, Jimmy Charles was one of them, he was lucky. But uh, I wasn't, I, I, got, uh, I got sacked. But luckily for me, I was conducting then. Uh, I'd packed in playing in 1972. 
and I was conducting a band in Congleton called Beresford's Band. Um, and Mr. Sabir, who, who ran the co who was company director, said, "What am I going to do now? Now that phones have packed up." I said, "Well, I'll find out who my friends are now, uh, as regards getting another job." I'd actually thought about moving back to Wigan and seeing if I could. Dick, Dick Evans was conducting Leyland at the time. I was going to see Dick and see if Dick could fix me up with a job on Cornish at Leyland Band and then get a job at Leyland, uh, which it, it didn't materialise because he said, what's going to happen to our band if you go? I said, well, that's tough, but I can't do anything about that. And he said, well, we'll find you a job, which they did. They found me a job uh, doing the internal post in the factory and also some chauffeuring, picking people up at the airport and taking people back to the airport. Well, there have been many venues, but one of my favourite venues has to be the Albert Hall. I loved playing in there because it was so easy to play in. And the first time I played at the Albert Hall was with Wingate's band, funnily enough, um, long before I came to Foldens, um, which was OK, that was fine. I, I played uh, Westminster Abbey has to be one, York Minster, Winchester Cathedral, Festival Hall. I played at the Festival Hall with the Men of Brass on a piece by Gilbert Vinter called the... Uh, I can't remember what it was called now. The Trumpets. The Trumpets. And, and Gilbert Vinter conducted that as well. So that was good. That was the festival hall. So I, I, I think I've played most of the big places in, in, in the country. I think I came back as a librarian in, in, into the early 90s because in 1990 I left Beresford's. I was a bit of a loose end. And then my friend Jim was was a librarian at Foden's then. So I came back to sort out the old library, which unfortunately we lost in the fire when the band room burned down. Uh, but that was it, be, be early 90s, yes. And I've sort of been stuck here ever since, really. <laughs> <laughs>